Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the T's. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the ATIT study manual, the sixth edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today is our lesson number 175, and we are on page number. 101 in the process of solving the problems in that quiz. The quiz which we refer to as test number three. Test number three which began on day number 166. The older edition, the fifth edition, contains two more exams, test one and test two. Test one we covered on day number 61 through 70. In test number two you will find the solutions to all the problems that appeared in test two from day number 71 through 80. As a matter of fact, we solve every single math problem from this book, the fifth edition, and you will find the solutions to all of them from day number 1 through 80. Let's get going. We're going to do problem number 19 and problem number 20. Problem number 19 deals with the concept of PEMDAS, which tells you the order of operation. PEMDAS, as you know, it stands for, it's, it's, it's a mnemonic device. It's a memory device. It's a mnemonic device. device. It helps us remember the order of operation. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally which stands for parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. We're not going to go through the entire topic now because we're not here to actually learn the concept. We already learned it. And if you like, I, I can give you the videos where you can go back and uh, do some extra problem if you wanted to, if you, want, if, you, if you so wished, on the concept. But right now, we're just going to do the problem. Here's the question. This is 10 plus 5, 3 squared minus 7 divided by so, first thing we notice is we have to take care of this exponents. Well, we have to take care of the parentheses first, but we cannot take care of parentheses until we take care of this part here. 3 squared is 9, 9 minus 7, and then 5 is outside. And the rest we just can copy it down the way it is. Divided by, this is a division sign. So that's taken care of. Now we open the parentheses. Now we open the parentheses. P stands for parentheses. Let's open this thing. Now before we open it, we can figure out what that is. 9 minus 7 is 2. So we get 5 times 2, and then this comes down divided by 2. And this, this just comes down. You with me so far? And now we have to do the multiplication and then division. Multiplication is right here. Let's take care of that. That's 10 divided by 2. We did the multiplication. We're not going to do 10 plus 10. This is where you have to pay attention. Now we're not, it's not 10 plus 10 divided by 2. It is, we did the multiplication and now we have to do the division. Division is next. 10 divided by 2 is 5. So essentially the answer is 10 plus 5. 15. 10 plus 5, 15. 10 plus 5 is 15. We would have we would have done 10 plus 10 first. We would have done like this 10 plus 10. 10 plus 10 is 20 divided by 2, in which case the answer would have been 10. And that would have been the correct answer if, if we had another parenthesis around it like this, if we had something like this throughout the entire thing, which we don't, which we don't. So when we get to this stage, when we get to this stage, we have only two operations left. We have only two operations left. We have addition and division. Question is, which one do we do first? Do we do addition first or do we do the division first? Well, this order of operation tells us what to do first. Addition comes after division. Multiplication, division, addition. So, so therefore, we do not do 10 plus 10. 10 comes down and we do 10 divided by 2, which is 5. And therefore, the answer is 15. Answer is 15. Do you understand? I'm going to put you on the blackboard. If you, I'm going to put on the blackboard if you're interested. Watch day number. 109, 109, which is a sixth edition series. Just type in T's day 109. That's where we did some more problem dealing with this concept, PEMDAS. And also watch day one, the very first day, the very first day in the series, which began with the fifth edition. Just type in T's day one, and you will see that we did several problem uh, dealing with the concept of order of operations. And then here is another option for you if you like. 
There is another series of tutorial on my on my channel called Basic Math. It's simply called Basic Math. Don't type in Basic Math for T's or anything. Just type in Basic Math. There are two videos there where you can find some more problems to practice. Day number 46 and 47. So 46, 47 and day 1 and day 109. That's plenty of plenty of exercises there. Let's do the next one. The more you practice, the better you will get at it, the more confidence you will build. Because these are very easy to mess up on. In question number 20, we're being asked to arrange from least to greatest. Least to greatest. And the numbers in answer choice A, numbers that appear are negative 2, negative 2, ne negative 2 third, root 2, and 0.5. This is answer choice A. But these are the same numbers that appear in all the answer choices, all four of the answer choices, in different orders. So instead of worrying about one answer choice at a time and see if, uh, if this answer choice is right or that answer choice is right, we're just going to arrange them first properly and then we're just going to pick the right answer. Do you understand? So let's get going. Let's get going. Here's our number line. Here is 0. With me so far. Here's our negative 1. And here's our negative 2. As you can see, negative 2 is the smallest of the, of the number here. But these two are positive numbers. These are the only two negative numbers. And negative 2 falls here. Negative 2 falls here. This is the smallest one. Where does negative 2 third come? Well, this is negative 1. This is negative one third, this is negative one two third, negative one third, and negative two thirds. So as you can see, negative two is smaller than negative two third. And now we have to worry about these two. Root square root of five and point five. Square root of five and point five. For that, I need a little bit of room, so I'm gonna erase this now. We don't need it. What is the square root of two? What is square root of two? Well, we don't have to worry about that right now. Right now, we don't need to worry about it. We, we really don't care what, what exactly square root of 2 is. All we need to understand here is the fact, all we need to understand here is the fact that square root of 1 is 1. Everybody knows that. What is that number? When we talk about square root, when we talk about square root, what is the question that is being asked? The question that is being asked here is, listen carefully, I'm going to say slowly, the question that is being asked here is, what is that number which, when squared, gives us 9? And that magic number is 3. 3 when 3 is squared, when 3 is multiplied by itself. In other words, what is that number? Question here is, what is that magic number which, when multiplied by itself, is going to give us what we see here? And the answer is 3. The square root of 1 is 1 because 1 times 1 is 1. Everybody knows that. The square root of 2, we do not know what it is, but whatever it is, it stands, stands to reason the square root of 2 has to be more than square root of 1. Or if you like, the square root of 1 is more, the square root of 1 is less than square root of 2. The square root of 2, whatever it is, has to be more than square root of 1. Or rather more than 1 if you like. Okay, but one more time. If we know square root of 1 is 1. If we know square root of 1 is 1. Therefore, the square root of 2, whatever it is, has to be more than 1. Whatever this quantity has to be more than 1. And since we are comparing this quantity which we established just now, that it is more than 1, we just established that it is more than 1, this is how we write, more than 1. Square root of 2, whatever it is, is more than 1. And since this, this, this is half, half is going to fall, this is your positive 1, half is going to fall here. And square root of 2 is somewhere here. So there is the order. There is the order. So, so we have negative 2, then we're going to have, let's erase all the other things that don't belong there. Then we have negative two-third. Then we have half. And then we have root two. This is the order. This is the order we're looking for. Negative two, negative two-third, negative half, and negative root two. And when you find that order, that's your right answer. And that answer, will, you will see in answer choice D. The correct answer is D. That's it. As far as the problem is concerned, we are done. As far as the problem is concerned, we are done. But let's just ask ourselves, for learning purposes, let's just ask ourselves, what is the square root of 2? Do you know? What is square root of 2? 
in order to answer that question, what is the square root of 2, we have to know we have to know our squares. We have to know our squares. The, the title of the video is Know Your Squares. You have to know your squares. How much is 1 squared, 2 squared, 5 squared, 9 squared, 13 squared. You have to know your squares up to 20. Hopefully all of them or at least most of them. If you know your squares, you can answer this question very easily what is square root of 2. The square root of 2, the square root of 2 as it turns out is approximately 1.4. It's approximately 1.4. Now do you know why? Do you know why? Well, let's erase all of this thing. We're done with the problem. This is the right order. Negative 2, negative 2, third, half and root 2. You should just leave it there. Do you know why square root of 2 is approximately 1.4? Well, here's the reason. If you take 14 and multiply it by itself, let's do that, shall we? Let's see what we get. 4 times 4 is 16. 6, carry 1. 4 ones are 4 plus 1 is 5. Hold the unit digit. And 4 times 1 is going to be 14. 6, 9, and 1. Now watch what happens. Watch what happens. So this is this is what we learned in this video. Know your squares. And that video, before I completely forget, is T is day 2. Day 1 and day 2. In day 1, we learned PEMDAS in the in the in the fifth edition series, on day one when we learn PEMDAS, and on day two we learn our squares in that video. Just type in T's day one or day two and watch those videos. Watch what happens now. Instead of 14 times 14, what if we had done what if we had done 1.4 times 1.4? Well, in that case, we have one unit one one one, uh, one decimal place here, one decimal place here. Decimal, is, decimal places right now is here, 196. 14 times 14 is 196. There are since two decimal places, we pick it up and move it two places. One and two. 1.96. Now, do you know what that tells us? This is what it tells us. What we just found out, what we just found out is that this tells us, this calculation, the fact that 14 times 14 is 196 and therefore 1.4 times 1.4 is exactly 1.96. What this tells us is that, what this tells us is that, if we were to take square root of 1.96, that is exactly 1.4, exactly. Therefore, therefore, this symbol, this symbol is read as, this symbol is read as, therefore, in mathematics. Therefore, since the square root of 1.96 is exactly 1.4, we just found out here, because here, when we have square root of 1.96, the question is, what is that number, which, what is that quantity, which, when multiplied by itself, is going to give us 1.96? Well, we found that quantity, that magic quantity is 1.4. 1.4 is that number, which, when multiplied by itself, gives us 1.96. Therefore, square root of 1.96 is exactly 1.4. Therefore, it is reasonable, it is reasonable to assert that square root of 2 is approximately 1.4. But as I said in the previous question, we did not need to know that much. All we had to understand in the, in the question that we just finished is that square root of 2, whatever it is, has to be more than 1. And therefore, by definition, something more than 1 will have to be more than half because we were comparing the square root of 2 versus half. The square root of 2, obviously, is going to be more than half. So that was on the other, other extreme. On this extreme point, uh, on this end, we had square root of 2. and the other extreme here, we had negative 2. You understand? I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.